See you later. See you tonight. Okay, bud. He, he really loves me. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going over there. Oh, you're going to film me? Yeah. This is how I walk. <laughs> I've been working on it. Oh, you alright? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. This is how I walk. <laughs> this guy's really unsteady. <laughs> How are you, man? I'm good. Can I see that for a second? Of course. Here I am. Look what I'm wearing. Wait. Is it there you can see it now. How cool. Okay, so we're going to do the interview like that? Yeah, that would be I'm great. I'm going to have to question it. Right? No. <laughs> you want to see this ugly mug? You're too handsome. <laughs> Tell me. Thank you very much. Tell me, uh, this movie has been like so weighted here in Montreal. like. In really? Quebec, like people are waiting for this movie. They're saying it's a new slap shot. It's a hockey movie. Hockey is a religion here. Yeah. You feel a pressure because tonight's a big premiere. Not until you just asked me that. <laughs> I was feeling pretty good until you. Just... No, I mean, I th I have a feeling they're going to love it. Like I, it's yeah. I I didn't know. Obviously, you know, it's funny because of this movie is the reason why I like went on Twitter. I never went on this Twitter thing before, yeah. you know, on the World Wide Web, uh -huh. and so I... You don't I, have a Twitter account? No, well, I, I created a fake one to see how to tweet Twitter, whatever it is. And what's your fake Twitter account? Oh, I can't tell you because it's fake. <laughs> no, I'm not, I would tell you, but I don't have... I'm, okay. I'm, not, putting After. I'm After. not putting tweets out. Okay. I just wanted to go on and push, put in things and see what else other people are doing. Okay. So I put in Goon Movie. And I've been, so I've been watching people respond to the extent. So I've had a sense of like how people uh, seem to be excited. And that's great. I, I don't think it's going to disappoint. I mean, maybe some people m might be a little upset with some of the violence, but I think because the it is are so violent, sweet. But it's so violent. It's like a, sometimes it's not so real. It's not real. It's right. like a, a, a comic. You know, it's like right. a, you know, it's too 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 much. Yeah, that's and real credit to. You know, to the director and Michael Dowse for that because it, it's brutal enough where it feels different. It's not. It's not like it looks kind of real, but then it's just it's skewed enough where you're like, that's ridiculous. Is it, Who could take one thousand punches to the head like that? <laughs> and is it too vulgar? I. You know, I, I can only go on the experience. Of, like my mom was at the, the the screening of the Toronto Film Festival. <laughs> And she loved the movie. And, and she was sitting next. Oh yeah, and she, but you have to remember, I've done some really weird stuff in movies. Oh yeah, so American think, Pie. Yeah. yeah, it's true. I think she was just happy, like if other people are doing gross things. <laughs> like I'm just so happy my son's being is being sweet in a movie for once. Okay, tell me the top three things that you did in movies that. Yeah, I was maybe embarrassed. But... Yeah. Well, I, clearly, I think my mom watched uh, American Pie One and saw me drink a beer with some jizz in it. <laughs> that was that was a real good start to my career. <laughs> and then I'm sure, well, the anal prostate ejaculation scene in Road Trip that was probably one she was a little bit confused about. And then I think I don't know, maybe having sex with Jason Biggs's grandma, well, like the character in American Wedding. Those three were ones I'm sure my mom was like. That's my son. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> Tell me about your character in Goon. Uh, Doug Glatt. I played Doug Glatt. Um, uh, he's just a good guy who's not really found his place in the world. He's uh, the black sheep of his family. His, his family are all doctors, and he just doesn't feel like he's, uh, you know, just doesn't feel like he's as smart as them, as good as them, and you know the one thing is working out as a bouncer, and you and uh, gets into it, and it goes to a hockey game. Gets uh, he protects his friend from the fight. Then he gets this opportunity to try out for a team, even though he can't skate. He gets the job, and Do you know how to skate in real life. No, I suck. No, terrible. Come on. Yeah, I'm terrible. Like I, well, everything you see in the movie, that's that's real. But thank God the character wasn't supposed to be good, because otherwise I would have been out there practicing, you know, because I'm method. <laughs> You're a method actor. Yeah, I'm a method actor. <laughs> Did you go into a camp, a hockey camp, to? Uh... No, I we had a great guy that used to play professional that I, that I had skated with like a month before, um, and but the movie, the, I mean, I know a lot of the guys had, you know, the guys that were supposed to be really good skaters, they trained hard for it. 
I spent most of my time just thinking, you know, bulking up. You know, I wanted to be bigger, and, and I, uh, yeah, which was easy for me. Just ate more. Then worked <laughs> no, out less. You work, no, you worked out a lot. Well, I worked out a lot, but I also ate a lot, too, because I, cause I just had the chance to, finally. And it was hard to lose that weight, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. it took a while. But um, How much? Oh, man, I gained, like, 35 pounds. For wow. The movie. Yeah, it was... But it works. These guys are so big, you know, that I would have looked scrawny in this size, you know, compared to them. But, um, but that was about as much preparation as I had going into You're it. You're still pretty big, like, you know? It's just a tight jacket. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> wear tight clothes. Um, well, you're already fit, but to wear tight clothes makes you look fit. And uh, the tattoo, is, is it real? Or yeah, what? it's real. Okay. We didn't have the budget to cover it up, so we just went with it. <laughs> you have this super sweet, like, proper guy that's got these tribal <laughs> tattoos. Didn't quite make sense, but... Be fine. Working with Marc-André Grondin. Ah, he's great.